This is what an elephant has to go through in order for you, the tourist, to do this. This is called pajan. Translated, it means the crush. It's an ancient practice done all over Southeast Asia, and it goes on for days. The purpose of this is to force a baby elephant to take commands from humans to prepare them for the tourism industry. So those elephants you see giving tourists rides, elephants that can paint or perform really in any way, they've all been through some form of pajan first. Not many people know about this, not yet. Elephant tourism is still one of the biggest money makers in Southeast Asia. But this woman, she's hoping to change that. This is Sangduen Chailer. But everyone calls her Lek. She's the owner of a place called Elephant Nature Park in Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's a sanctuary for rescued elephants. For me, you know, when I see a lot of, of them are suffer, I choose to speak for them. It does matter. Elephant Nature Park runs an extremely successful volunteer program. And the idea is that the volunteers will go home and spread the message. Volunteers like Catherine from Alabama. I grew up going to circuses and zoos and being so excited to see the elephants. And now I look back and I think, oh my God, I, I bought into that tourist thing, not knowing what was behind it. I took my children. I didn't know. It is absolutely horrendous, and they do it when the babies are small. There's a lot of that at Elephant Nature Park, a lot of raw emotion. I'm sorry, I'll just go sit in my car and help it. <laughs> this is Nanette. It was pure shock. I mean, I think we were all, some people are really ignorant to what actually happens to them, and they don't, they just see riding an elephant is fun. And people just don't know, but there again, people choose to ignore it as well. Thailand, in particular, has a booming elephant tourism industry. More than half of Thailand's elephant population is held in captivity. The tourists expect quite a lot from uh, elephant, and when the tourists expect, then the camp, you know, uh, the business have to call competition. I, I don't blame people for elephant riding because they didn't know. He was a uh, uh, rescue from elephant tracking camp in Myanmar in 2005. Each elephant is assigned a mahout, someone that will rehabilitate them and stay with them for the rest of their lives. She is my favorite elephant. Yeah, she loved me. I, I love her too. When we received the elephant here, 85% of the elephant arrived here with a huge mental problem. Lek, understandably, has developed unshakable bonds with her elephants. Hello. Hi, baby. She sings to those who carry emotional scars for life. When they get in there, it completely brainwash them. And after they come out of the crust, some of them see the mother in front. They not even look at the mother. But there are other elephants in the park who carry physical scars, too. Jockier, the blind one. I admit I cried when I saw it. Jokia was blinded in captivity after she lost her baby and refused to keep working. Kabu's leg was broken in captivity and healed improperly. But even so, she was still forced to work in this condition. The solution, they say, is education and to not pay into the industry in the first place. We just have to say it over and over to whoever will listen. Just really think hard before they ever thought of riding an elephant. Every single day that I have from here is to see elephant happy, and that I have enough, you know. I have no children. They are my children. Uh, yeah.